best things about like a big life change um, is you get to develop new routines and you really get to like do things that you just love to do. Like, I love listening to music in the morning and I forgot that. I forgot how much I like that and now I get to do that all the time. Fun things guys. Fun time. A little workout update. I have taken my foot off the pedal <laughs> a bit over the last few months uh, from working out just because I feel like now that you guys know everything that, that I've been going through, I know that my body is extremely, extremely sensitive to stress and working out, even if it's in the most gentle way, when you're already very stressed out, it can, it can trigger an inflammatory response even more. So I've been really sticking to just lots of walking i haven't really been even hiking if i'm being honest with you guys i've been walking a lot i have been um, let me add a little bit of cold water first i've done like a couple of pilates classes here and there um and i actually went to the gym <laughs> once but now i'm just in this um place where i do feel like i'm ready to get back into just like a nice training routine so i am taking a Pilates class today and I'm so excited because it's Monday. It's Monday, I feel like it's a good day to get on my routine. I really liked my routine probably like six months ago where I was going to Pilates twice a week. I was doing yoga once a week and then the rest was just walking, hiking, like doing long walks to the beach and just getting all my steps in. That was wonderful and I feel like I just want to get back to that. Two reformer Pilates classes for me, or Ligree classes, sorry, I keep calling you Pilates, I know it's not correct, but two Ligree classes a week for me is more than enough to resistance train. My body does not need any more than that. I feel like my joints start to hurt if I do more. Um, so I'm gonna be sticking to that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ease into it. I'm gonna start with just once a week and just being consistent with that and then adding another class. I also just really wanna get back to eating, you know, consistently at home. I feel like I've been eating out quite a bit lately um, and that's okay. But definitely would like to get back to that. There is something really nice about staying in Los Angeles for the holidays and I've really never gotten to do that. Um, so I'm excited to not have any travel coming up unless I do something crazy and I go to New York for my birthday. I don't know. Might, might do that. This is my favorite matcha combo. I will definitely be getting this creamer again because I got it at Whole Foods and the cinnamon in it is so good and then this like oats and seeds milk from Trader Joe's. I didn't even want to get it. Kate convinced me to get it and she was right. Okay, I'm gonna head off to Pilates. I got a lot of trash to take out. I am under this impression that if I clean just a little bit every day, if I do like one little thing every single day, I won't have to have like the really big clean every two to three weeks if I'm just doing like a little bit and that feels better to me but I don't know, you guys let me know. What do you think? Is it better to just like deep clean one day and just do everything or a little bit every day? I thought I was gonna be able to film more. That class was so killer. I haven't done it in so long that I just could not film, but I did go and it crushed me. I have been obsessed with making these little grain bowls. The base is arugula and then I have some avocado, a little bit of microgreens, and I have pan fried some sweet potato, butternut squash, and lentils. That is going to be my post-workout meal for today. I'm just gonna throw it all together in here. I know I'm going to get questions on my outfit. And honestly, you guys, I hate to be this person, but 
Every single piece is from a boutique here in California or in Venice called Skylark. It is one of my favorite places to shop and I can't link anything, which sucks, but I have this cardigan. It's like we're having a very grout fit moment. Um, I got these jeans that are vintage, what are they? Vintage guest jeans and they're super, hopefully you guys can see they're like really baggy and just kind of oversized, but they fit my waist really nicely. And then the cardigan and the top is from Skylark. I'm so sorry, I feel so bad. Um, but if there are any outfits in the future, I'm gonna to try and be better at linking stuff for you guys because there are stuff like that I recently got from Madewell that I wear all the time. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and eat over here. I'm gonna be going over my script while I have my lunch. Um, I do have to go to the print store today and actually print it, but at the moment I'm just gonna go over it in my computer. And tomorrow I'm actually meeting with the director uh, to go over to go over the project, which is so exciting. The sponsor of today's video is Dossier. You guys know I love them. I've been working with them for months now. They're my favorite sponsor of 2023, I think. Just had the best time working with them and I love all of their products. And this would be the time for my mother and my grandmother to exit out. If you guys are watching this, goodbye. I don't want you to watch it, but I did get some presents for them for Christmas. My favorite perfume from them is the Amber Saffron one, which is inspired by the Baccarat Rouge perfume. The great thing about Dossier, if you do here, if you haven't heard of them before, they make luxury inspired perfumes that are so much more affordable, but they are at the highest quality. They last just as long. I've used this so many times, you guys, and I've barely scratched the surface of how much I've used it. So I'm using it right now, actually, because I'm about to go out. But I love, I love this smell. It's the perfect smell and it's probably my number one recommendation if you guys are interested in getting something from them. I don't know which one is from my mom and which one's from my grandma. Oh yeah, okay. So the one from my grandma is the musky green tea. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute and it'll tell you what it's inspired by on the little card. This one's inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Perfume. Um, I think my grandma's really gonna like this one. And then for my mom, I got this one. I don't wanna butcher the name, but it's inspired by the Dior Savage one. So, very exciting. She loves this perfume. It smells so much like her. Dessie has other stuff too. So if you guys are interested in like room diffusers or candles or anything like that, they have all of that stuff if that's something you'd rather gift. But I just feel like they make the perfect holiday gift. I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap these. Big fan, thank you, Dossier. I'm gonna have a link in the description bar for you guys to both of those perfumes and my favorite one, Ambery Saffron one, um, in the description bar for you. And I'll also have a code on the screen for you guys to use right here. Thank you, Dossier. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little walk right now um, to go over my lines and I've realized that I have a much easier time learning lines if I'm just moving while I'm doing them instead of sitting down. This sweater, I can tell you where it's from. It's from Cezanne or Cezanne. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but um, I got it in a size medium. I think everybody has this sweater in a red. So I got it in a blue. <laughs> And I think I would like to get it in a red as well because it's so cozy and cute. Um, I love her. The bag is from Skylark, sorry guys. But I have my vintage Levi's and then my Nike, Air, Nike what? I don't know, Air Forces? Are these Air Forces? I don't know. But this is my outfit. I'm gonna do a little walk. I'm gonna put on some music and I'm gonna just work on my lines while I do the walk. Um, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon right now and it's a perfect time to go because the sun's gonna go down soon and once the sun goes down, I can't get any of my steps in. And once that happens, I'm gonna sit down and do some editing computer work and then it'll be dinner time and then we're just gonna wind down for the night and that's gonna be my day for today. It's pretty chill. Working from home includes a lot of leaving the house to get yourself out of the house and then coming back and doing work and then leaving the house again just to like not ruminate, so. I agree.
agree with you. I think that that's probably a good idea. Blushed troshka, yeah, that would be good. I would really like that. Troshka za daleko. Mhm, mhm. So that makes sense, right? Okay, mom. Just made my go-to dinner. I have a massive piece of salmon, half an avocado, asparagus, and the brown rice medley from Trader Joe's. So easy. I cooked the asparagus and the salmon in the same exact pan and then just cut half an avocado and microwave some rice. I just spent the last few hours editing this vlog and it is currently 8.29. I don't know if you can be able to see that. Why does it look like that? Hold on. Oh. Can't tell what time it is. Okay, so I'm working, but it's currently 8.30. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my face, get ready for bed. I'm gonna I've been trying to read before bed instead of watching TV. Maybe I'll watch a little bit of TV. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start to wind down. I also realized that at no point in this vlog I actually told you guys that I, I did book an acting job, an acting role that shoots, it's eight episodes. I think half of them are shooting before the new year and then have them after. I don't fully know. I'm meeting with the director tomorrow, so I'm going to get more info tomorrow, but uh, that is what I've been preparing for because I do have that meeting tomorrow. I just wanted to make sure that I'm really familiar with the script and the characters and all that, and I am, and I feel really good about it, and I'm excited. It's a really fun role. I feel like it's going to really push me emotionally, um, which is always really fun, so... Um, yeah, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know if it was a little boring, but um, I kind of miss doing just like daily vlogs. And if you guys would like to see more, I could make that happen. But if you're like, absolutely not, I want more dedicated videos, let me know. That's fine too. I really want to do uh, an apartment tour because I've kind of switched up the apartment. I have little, little things that I've added, little pieces. I could put these books here and have a new lamp and my desk is all nice and organized. Um, yeah, I feel like I would love to do like a full apartment tour and just tell you guys where everything's from and stuff. So hopefully I'll make that happen before the new year. That would be, that would be good. I don't know, I always get like, I always tell myself that it's not finished and then I just never do it. But um, I wanna replace some artwork and then it'll be that's all, and that's it. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being the best. I love you with all my heart, and I'll see you in the next one.